Hello, I'm Dr. David Danish, a double board certified psychiatrist specializing in child, adolescent, and adult psychiatry and autism and neurodevelopmental care across the lifespan. One of the most common questions I've heard lately from parents of children or adults with autism is, do we need to run any tests before considering starting leucovorin? It's a very reasonable question. Leucovorin, also known as prescription strength folinic acid, is used to support folate delivery to the brain, especially in patients with autism spectrum disorder who are suspected to have a cerebral folate deficiency. There is a blood test called the FRAT, which is short for folate receptor antibody test. It checks for antibodies that may be blocking folate from getting into the brain. If your family member has high levels of these antibodies, it is a strong signal that leucovorin could help because leucovorin bypasses that blocked transport system. So if the FRAT test is positive, that gives us a clear rationale to move forward with leucovorin treatment and sometimes to continue treatment longer. But here's the important nuance. A negative FRAT test does not necessarily mean leucovorin will not help. The test can miss cases, what we call false negative responses. And many people with autism still respond really well to leucovorin despite having a previously negative result. That's because folate delivery to the brain can also be disrupted by other factors, such as mitochondrial dysfunction, chronic inflammation, or other metabolic concerns. For example, if a patient has mitochondrial dysfunction, their brain cells may struggle to meet energy demands. Leucovorin supports cellular metabolism and bypasses steps that might not be working efficiently in their case. If a patient has metabolic challenges like MTHFR variants or issues with methylation, leucovorin provides folate in a form the body can actually use without relying on those faulty pathways. And when chronic inflammation is present, that inflammation may impair folate transport even without those specific antibodies the FRAT test looks for. In these cases, leucovorin can help restore function by flooding the system with usable folate. In other words, a positive FRAT test helps us feel more confident, but a negative FRAT does not rule out the potential for benefit. Also, logistically and realistically, the FRAT test can be very expensive and difficult to access for many families because leucovorin has a relatively favorable safety profile at low to moderate doses. Many families choose to begin a short trial based on clinical symptoms alone. But here's the key point. If your child is still taking leucovorin after about 12 weeks, especially at the higher dose range, I do require a FRAT test at that point, even if there was not one done before or even if there was one done before. Why? Because leucovorin is not yet studied or meant to be a lifelong or long-term treatment. In most cases, it's a temporary immune-based intervention. If your family member avoids dairy and other potential immune triggers during those three months and the FRAT test does come back negative at that 12-week mark, that usually means the antibodies have resolved and we can begin thinking about tapering off of leucovorin treatment. However, if the FRAT test is positive at that point, whether it's the first time it's positive or the second time, that tells me more treatment may be needed, but it'll be a case-by-case -case decision. For instance, we would only continue if your family member is clearly benefiting and we're monitoring for other potential long-term side effects closely. This is based on what we know about immune-related conditions like PANS, for instance, or PANDAS, where antibodies can change over time with various triggers, infections, diet, and other environmental factors. We're learning more every year. Related to what I discussed above, I do wanna mention here as well, for many patients, cutting out dairy is a critical first step. Dairy proteins can provoke these antibodies, so avoiding dairy during treatment gives your child the best shot at a full immune recovery, which is essentially the best treatment of all. 
So what's the next step if you are considering leucovorin for your family member? I've created a careful and clinically responsible way to access this, even outside of traditional in-person visits. To see if your child or family member may qualify for a prescription of leucovorin, visit the leucovorin page at Philadelphia Integrative Psychiatry. Similarly, if you wanna start with the FRAT test, visit that same page and this link will be in the description and you can choose to do that first. This is all part of our asynchronous care model designed to increase access while maintaining high standards of safety and medical review. If you're not ready to start treatment or get the FRAT test, please visit my mind vault at drdaviddanish.com where I have much more information about both the FRAT test and the various benefits of leucovorin, as well as benefits of other agents such as L-methylfolate and SAMe, both of which can bypass some of the metabolic inefficiencies I discussed earlier. I'm here to bridge access and responsibility, offering research-backed care to families across the country without cutting corners. Thank you for watching and please share this with anyone else who you think might benefit.